Hey guys. Welcome to the tutorial on how to mod Brotato. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to backup save files, install mods and mod selector. First we are going to start off by googling Brotato modding. Open the Brotato modding wiki. On the table of contents select method 4, use selector mod, under mod installation. Click on learn more here. Go to the download and on the GitHub page click on Brotato Mod Selector Zip. Download the file and save it to your desired location, from where you will be launching modded version of the game. Extract the zip file and open the extracted folder. You will be saving your mods into packs folder. Now go back to the first page of modding wiki and go to the mod list. Note that you can only use one mod at the time except for the modtato mod which includes multiple mods. Download the mods that you want. You can find the download links under downloads or releases. We can now see that mods are ready in the packs folder. Before we launch the mods, let's create a backup folder for our vanilla game save. In the Windows search bar type in app data. If you are using an older version of Windows you can also use the run prompt, which you can open by pressing Windows button and R at the same time. Copy the Brotato folder and paste it into the folder to create a copy. If you ever want to go to your original save files you can delete the Brotato folder and rename the copied folder to Brotato. You can also keep the modded save files by renaming them to something else while you are using vanilla save files. Let me create my backup folder again. To launch the mods, run the Brotato Mod Selector.exe. Open the mod that you want to play. We can see that the mods are working. If we try to open the game on Steam, we can see that it runs without mods. But keep in mind if you have important save files to switch between modded and vanilla save files before doing so. You can find more helpful information for modding on the Brotato Discord server. Link to join is in the description. And that's all for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See ya.